our trivia question today. In 1850, something happened in Kalamazoo that this choir in 1941 was celebrating in song. What was it? Well, you can tell by their super awesome costumes that they were celebrating the Dutch settlement of Kalamazoo, having a big concert to celebrate 91 years in 1941. Speaking of the 1800s, there's a beautiful church in the Richland area, the Yorkville Community Church, and they're hosting a live nativity just in time for Christmas. Their youth education leader is Judy Baker, and their director of theater ministries, Lisa Grace. Welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. It's good to see you are looking so Christmassy and festive. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Tell us a little about your church. It's one of the most beautiful ones in West built Michigan, in, if you ask me. Yeah, it was built in 1851, and uh, if you go in the back, you can see some of the original timbers. There's a, a part of the wall cut out, so you can see the original timbers in the church. Oh, look at that so, church. It's so beautiful in the winter, church. and we'll get to see yeah. it with all the beautiful snow when you do your nativity, which is coming up on Wednesday. On Wednesday, uh, December 20th, and it's from 6 until 9, and we do uh, a 15 to 20 minute performance um, at 6.15, at 7, and at 8 p.m. And then after the performance, people can come inside to our fellowship hall and we'll have coffee and cocoa and treats and kids can decorate a ornament or decorate Christmas cookies. And that's where you come yeah, in. You're planning all the kids stuff, so tell us about well, that. Uh, we have a group of wonderful ladies at, uh, Rich, at uh, Yorkville, and so they have things planned in there because I happen to be out in the uh, uh, nativity, so I won't be there as... Uh, Who are you playing? I, he's my angel of the Lord. <laughs> You're the angel of the Lord? <laughs> I am. Well, that's a good role. <laughs> it's a stretch. <laughs> Do they have to do a background check before no. she applies to be an angel? Yeah, I think so. Her, her husband told me last year, you got the wrong girl. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, I think the nativity is wonderful for children because it's very simple, but it's, it explains the birth of uh, Christ, which is the reason why we have Christmas. And um, once they're done with that, which is a, it's not long, which is nice for older people and young people. But then they can go in and have some hot cocoa and uh, decorate cookies and make some crafts and just visit. And then in that area, we also have the Powell um, teenagers. They're a quartet of strings that play for our church often and also play in the symphony, the uh, junior symphony. Well, they must be good then. They're very good, very good, Amazing. the Powells. And um, so they will be playing also. So there's lots of fun things and just a nice atmosphere. I'm seeing lots of animals in those pictures. Yes. Did I see camels? Yes, you did. Where does one get a camel? <laughs> um, they're from the Detroit in York area. Really? This gentleman brings his whole, uh, he's got a, a mobile petting zoo and he brings it in and sets it up so people can actually pet llamas and <laughs> sheep and there's a little donkey. Um, they call it a Christ donkey because it actually has a, a cross. Really? In, in its back. It's very interesting, the story. Um, and then he has a couple of camels that he brings. And when we're done with the show, they, people can go up and pet the camels and have their picture taken. I wonder what those camels. camels think about snow. <laughs> uh, they did okay last did year. They, they, okay. they just laid in the snow, and every once in a while, one of them would grunt, you know. And I, I think they're okay with that. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So do you advise people to get there early and then you know get in line for the different shows or how does that work or just show up it's the, the show to to? is actually in the garden area um, so it's up above and then we have a paved area where people can stand um, so there's lots of room um, they'll be able to see and um, this year we past years we've had our choir sing and this year we have songbooks so that we're doing it as a community carol sing so oh, we want people nice. to come and sing along and we don't care how you sing we just want you to sing loud it's the important thing that you mm -hmm. do it with joy right that's yes. right Absolutely. pitch Absolutely. not Doesn't so important mm -hmm. you, say you had to make a joy you just said make a joyful noise and yeah. you have to be in tune <laughs> <laughs> great so yes. i think people love to sing along especially at this yes. time of year yes what a lovely thing do you have a 
big congregation at your church? We're, we don't have a really large congregation. Um, we're trying to, you know, invite people in to see our church and hopefully maybe come back for some of our mm-hmm. services. And Tell us how to get there. I know how to get there because I've been there many times. Mm-hmm. But tell our viewers how to find Yorkville Community Church. Well, you can take 89, which goes through Richland, where the Mm -hmm. only stoplight is. And then if you go almost to the elementary school, right by the little elementary school on the right, you can take a left, which is D Avenue. Okay. You can take D Avenue behind the dollar store and all of those stores and just continue. It will come and you'll see it. Mm -hmm. You can't miss it. That beautiful church. Yep, the southern part of Gull Lake. 1851. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so gorgeous. that was one of our earliest ones. In it is, our and area. it's a lovely group yes. of people. Truly lovely people group. Yeah. And there will worship. be people there giving tours of the church if someone wants to see the interior of the church and and see what it looks like. I hope the snow holds out for you so I it's extra so. beautiful it will be. for your event. Ladies, thank you so much for thank being you here. For having Merry, Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We'll be right back on the Lori Moore Show on your CW7.